Browns getting ready to head out to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. A couple of one and two teams trying to rebound uh, from disappointing losses. Antonio Pierce, head coach of the Raiders, talking about Sean Watson and defending him. I'm not going to judge on how he's played, but I've seen some really good throws last week out there on the perimeter, both to Amari Cooper. Uh, the deep ball's there. Obviously, the ability to scramble, to run, to extend the plays, that's something we're going to have to work on again this week. No different than against like a Lamar Jackson type, um, a guy that can move in the pocket. But listen, he's played a lot of football, and when he's on, he's on. You saw that in Jacksonville. Um, and then late in the game, obviously, against the, the, the Cowboys, you know, when they needed to come back and he was moving the ball and moving the chain. So he's somebody that's a threat. you got to respect the National Football League. At any given moment, he can make plays. And we are going to start with um, the Las Vegas Raiders perspective of things. We welcome in Vincent Bonsior as the uh, Raiders reporter for the Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, Vincent, it, I, I know you guys are coming off a loss to the Panthers. What happened in that one? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, and by the way, the Cleveland Browns, their first appearance in Las Vegas, we've been counting down the teams that are making their first appearance in the Carolina Panthers last week, and they thoroughly enjoyed their visit to Las Vegas, by the way. Uh, we'll see if the Cleveland Browns uh, follow, follow suit. But, um, you know, this is such a uh, – th- 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 this Raiders team, this iteration uh, of, of, of this, you know, uh, this franchise, is just, there's so much of an unknown, and I guess – you can kind of uh, use that use that to, to describe the Cleveland Browns as well, because I don't think on a week to week basis, based on the Raiders' track record under Antonio Pierce, this offense, this quarterback, um, I don't know that we have like a, a firm handle on who these these Raiders truly are. So while Sunday was thoroughly surprising on some levels, um, maybe not so much when you when you really think about it. Therefore, looking ahead to Sunday. You're wondering, okay, what, what, what Raiders team can we expect? And I literally asked Devontae Adams that question uh, yesterday on, on Wednesday, and he was like, I don't have any expectations. I don't think he knows. And when your star player doesn't know exactly what the response is going to be, um, that's that's probably not, not good news. And so when you go back to Sunday against the Carolina Panthers to explain it, I think it's hard to explain it. They just didn't play a very good football team, and they're not good enough to not check off uh, all the various boxes that this team does. I mean, every team has to check off a number of boxes to win in the NFL, but in particular, the Raiders team, this Raiders team, um, which has question marks at quarterback along the offensive line. Uh, I, I, I don't know that they can compete unless they follow that very strict blueprint and check off every box uh, that, that they have to. And they certainly didn't do that on Sunday and, and wondering or expecting or, or asking if they're going to check off those boxes on Sunday against the Cleveland Browns. I don't think anyone really has an answer. We're going to have to wait and see on until Sunday. Yeah, it, that sounds like a mirror of uh, of the Browns. Now, the week before, you go into Baltimore and you beat the Ravens with Lamar Jackson. Uh, 